So the Elden Ring DLC comes out this weekend. While I'm not buying it day one, I did feel the need to clear a path to the DLC. So when it does come out, when I do eventually buy it, I don't gotta spend 20 fucking hours reaching the boss, you know what I mean? And today, I'm gonna be showing you my journey to defeat Moog. Mog? Bug? I'm not sure, but I beat him in one day, and I'm gonna show you how I did it. Now, to start this video off, I must let you know, I am in New Game Plus, and the only bosses I've beaten right now are Margit and Godfrey, so I'm still relatively early in the game. I mean, in this footage you're looking at right here, I'm still inside of Godfrey's castle. I haven't went anywhere yet. Now, I'm doing this the direct to DVD access way, which means I'm not killing no fodder, I'm not going to any dungeons, picking up any necessary items, and none of that extra bullshit. I am doing everything that I need to do to take me from Godfrey's castle to Moog's castle. And to start this journey off, I must sneak behind a dragon, which I do, and I grab the key to the Liurnia school. Liurnia? Renala school? It doesn't matter. I get the key, and I go inside the school. Once I'm in there, I make a mad dash to the Wolf of Radigan, and me and my mimic pack him right on up. Now, I wanna let you know, you watching this video right now, I play this game in one of the most dishonorable ways possible. If you're one of those Souls fans where you're only supposed to be struggling and using a strength build with the great sword or a great club, you might wanna click up this video. Cause I'm gonna do everything that you guys hate. Which <laughs> basically means playing the game how I wanna play it, but let's move forward. Quick side note, oh yes, this is editor JDizzle701 here. Fuck this motherfucker, man. This motherfucker fucked me like three times, all right? Now listen, it's New Game Plus. I understand the game's gonna be harder. You know, I haven't played Elden Ring in months, but this motherfucker, look what he's doing to me. Like, he's embarrassing me, jump attacking, he's a little bitch. You know what I mean? Fuck this guy, this night su fucking sucks. I'm glad he's in the game though, because I think a lot of people, you know, uh, we get invaded like the invaders in this game actually teach you how to deal with actual invaders you know to to a certain degree you know but fuck this guy i hate him i hate him oh so much that's why i pulled out my trusty go-to sword of night and flame and i blasted his ass parry this fucking kamehameha you fucking casual anyway back to the video after dealing with the dog i make my way to ranala once again, me and my Mimic pack her ass right on up. I mean, it's so, so simple. I mean, I am a new game plus, but I am almost level 200. I have a well-orchestrated build. I have the Moonlight Greatsword. So with all of this combined, and these stats are doubled essentially because I have the Mimic, we basically play ping pong without the table with Renala. Now that I've defeated her, I'm free to go to the capital. And it's a long trek to the capital. But while you're watching me make my way to the capital, you're probably wondering, hmm, you're doing it the wrong way, but you could talk to Vare and fast track this entire process. This video would have been over right now if you would have done it that way via the side quest and someone in my chat, Buddha Smoke Gaming, thought the same thing. And I got some bad news. <laughs> I got some bad news. I killed him. I'm pretty sure I killed Vare. Yeah, Vare's dead. See, when I started this new game plus, the first thing I wanted to do was to kick his fucking ass. I wanted to kill him. I'm like, I'm a maidenless piece of shit. Fuck you. All right. So I killed him. He's dead. So I got to do it the hard way. You reap what you sow, right? I made my way into the hand spider forest where I had to deal with sweet old Loretta. Once again, me and my Mimic put her in a trash bag. After dealing with Loretta, I learned I needed to get both Grand Decus Lift Discs. There's four all together, but two I can get right now. So I made my way to Kaelin and Lynn Grave, and I grabbed both of those discs. It was a waste of time. It was out of my way. I didn't want to do it, but I had to do it. So I did it. It was easy. But, and I must say this, I, I, I dare not even speak her name in this video. But once I got to Caleb though, I ran into my arch nemesis, Anastasia. 
You don't know Anastasia? Anastasia, the Tarnished Eater. I fucking hate her. When I first played this game, I picked the weak magic class. And for a very long time, I had no spells and no cool magic weapons to assist me, so I struggled. It was my staff and my simple, short, standard blade that I started the game with. Anastasia put me on my ass about six times, fighting over that fucking grace. But now, bigger, better, stronger, more complete. So after some mild pushback and some honestly pretty good reads on her part, I fucking killed her. Yeah, and I, I enjoyed every second of it too, believe you me. After getting both Decus lift pieces, I realized that I needed to actually activate my great rune again because it didn't carry over from the first game, so I went and did that, another detour, sad to say, but necessary for my actual final challenge. I reached the capital, and upon getting there, I did deal with the Draconic Tree Sentinel, and once again, my friend Buddha Smoke Gaming alerted me that I needed to go to the Albernic Village to get one of the secret Decus Lift pieces. Another detour, I mean, who'd, who'd have thunk it, right? But go there, and after like 20 minutes of slogging around that dirty ass lake, I fucking found it. Got the piece and then I fucked off. Now that I'm back in the capital, I run past fucking everything. Every fucking thing. I go past everything. Running, running, running all through this capital. I did die once because of a stupid ass emo thing that I only literally did once. I only died to it once, which was right here, right now. Nigga! 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 I go past everything. Running, running, running all through this capital, all the way to Godfrey's ghost. And because I don't have to deal with horror Lou in this run, I took all the anger that I had stored up for him from my initial run, and I just laid laid it on the ghost. Just destroyed the ghost, took my sword out, you know, charged it up, called the mimic, called my summon, everything, just absolutely demolished him. Because I hate Godfrey. And I hate horror Lou. I still had the footage of what happened to me. In my first playthrough, you will understand my dismay, my anger. It's like Horror Lou made me not want to play no more. Like, yeah, like that, second half, uh, that nigga made me not. I did not want to play this game no more. I've never had a Souls game make me not want to play. <laughs> I didn't want to play this game no more. Like I said, fuck beating this game. Like I, I never forget it. I was like, no, it doesn't matter. I beat this bitch, bro. I got this far. Fuck this nigga. After dealing with Godfrey, it was time to deal with Morgoth. And if you're gonna fight Morgoth, you have to summon Melina. Elena? I'm really not good with these names. But I summoned Melina, and I brought her sister Tish. And the us three, he just beat the shit out of Morgoth. One of my favorite fights in the game. Such a shame that it's so trivial now to me, but still fun nonetheless. I love when he just goes Super Saiyan in the middle of the fight. Fighting style, everything about him is great. Morgot. Everything I just showed you was the easy part of the video. Now comes the hard part. Because I killed Vare, because of that, I have to go all the way to the consecrated snow field, deal with Nyal, and get the other half of the Decus lift tokens and do all of this shit to get to the teleporter, to get to Moog, to fight Moog. Don't kill Vare. Leave him, please, I'm begging you. But I use the lift, go through the snow field, I can't fucking see anything, make my way all the way in y'all, summon the homie, do the smoke gaming, and after one, every, two, three tries, bro, they ghost buff niggas. We put him and his dumbass ghost army down. After that, on my way to mode, I run into, and you won't believe this, my arch nemesis again, Anastasia. Anastasia. It's either Anastasia. Oh, or not or, this uh, bitch. And I made sure to put her ass down. For good. Trust me. Fuck. Yeah, hey, come on, come on, bitch. Nah, stay Kendrick. The dragon kill uh, dudes. Jumping they ass. still spawning. There's like three of them out there in that field close to y'all and shit. Oh, God. Come on, bitch. You got your weak ass. Weak, 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 weak <laughs> I was shit. trying to run from her one time, dog. <laughs> the niggas came out and cleaned me up, dog. I was like, mm. damn. Man. You know what, bitch? I got something for your ass. Take my spear, bitch. After her, though, I reached the teleporter. 
get into Moog's domain, run past the Albrenic farming spot, which I spent so much time in my first playthrough, and I make it. The grace right before my final challenge. Now, here's the thing. This is my first time fighting Moog. Probably like, you're a new game plus, how is it your first time fighting him? See, I bought Elden Ring when it first came out. And when it first came out, there were some unattended glitches left over. Which, basically, without saying too much, long story short, I sequence broke Mog and I killed him while he was just standing there. I didn't feel bad about it, I thought it was fun. I thought things like this could only happen to PC players. So seeing that there were about four different sequence breaks in the PS5 release version, I had to take advantage of them. So, in New Game Plus, this is my first time dealing with Moog. And the fight goes pretty well for the first half. I mean, he wasn't doing anything i never seen before. I mean, I've never seen it before, but nothing i never seen before until the second phase where this motherfucker decides to go full Sephiroth and get wings and fly around and sling that fucking blood fire all over the goddamn arena. And I died. I mean, it was a good effort for my first run, but I don't feel like doing this dance with Mog. So, me and my homie, Buddha Smoke Gaming, <laughs> I summoned him again. And after one, two, he's about to kill me. Three tries. Yeah! He's dead. And now I am free to reach the DLC. I will see this DLC very soon. Maybe not this week, but maybe next week. So, thank you guys for coming to my video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, JD701. Peace. Is what I fucking would say. Because I forgot to kill Radon. Because Radon is important. And I basically recorded all this footage before Miyazaki put the little graphic out saying you gotta kill Radon and you gotta kill Mo. So I ran my ass back. Started the Radon Festival, and because I didn't really feel like dealing with this monster again, me and my friend Buddha Smoke Gaming, and after one try, Radon was down. And now my passage to the DLC was complete. But I gotta speak about Radon. See, in my first playthrough, Radon was the greatest challenge. Everyone was talking about, oh my god, the lore, the meteorite, the summons, the battle, the epicness, the scale. Everything about his fight was gushed about for about two weeks. And he was legitimately difficult. I mean, he beat my ass so bad, I respect three times just to barely eke out and win. But now, Radon is a shell of his former self. It's honestly pathetic. I mean, yes, granted, I am almost level 200, but I am a new game plus and I have a friend with me. So he's doing his combo attacks for 7% of my HP. What happened to you, Radon? I know you were an early boss, but still, this is pathetic. This is a shame. You're a fraud. But it's okay. You're dead now. So rest easy, my king. And now, I can officially say my passage to the DLC is now open. I don't know when I'm going to buy this $40 DLC. I understand it's about the same size as Limgrave, and they probably have three to four to five different underground sections that are about the same fucking size, but... I have other things to play at the moment, but when I do decide to buy this DLC, I can just travel my ass right to Moog's Grace, touch that hand, and have it fucking toss my ass to the fucking underworld, or however I'm going to get there. But thank you all for watching. My name is JDoza701. Please hit that like button, and if you did like this video, make sure to comment and subscribe if you want to see more, because I eventually will get this DLC very soon. And if you want to see how I'm going to interact with it and basically fuck myself over by killing pissy pants ass NPCs, you will see it first. If you hit the notification bell. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's your boy, JD701. I'm out of here. Peace.